Stop the insanity. What am I doing to these strawberries right now? I do this twice a year. I come in and it looks like a massacre. It's brutal. I'm pulling everything I can out. Not clear cutting, but I'm just hammering these strawberries and I'm pulling out stuff like this. And it's awesome because I can 4x my strawberries every year by doing this. I get so many that I kind of just lose track of it all. What I'm doing is I'm coming in here, it's August right now, and I'm pulling out this wholesale. I don't care if they're runners, I don't care if they're plants that I planted, I'm pulling them out and I'm thinning this thing out like crazy. My ideal spacing for strawberries, at least when I start them, is six by six. So six inches on center. If that's in a 30 inch bed, that's four rows at six inches apart each row. I'm pulling all these out and I want to expand my crop. I've got some new beds that I've opened up and I'm just gonna basically pull all these out right now and plant them in there immediately. Some of these varieties I'll probably get strawberries from. There's Albion and uh, 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 my apologies, but they're all day neutral varieties. These strawberries set fruit indeterminately, almost like a set days to maturity of a crop. Because a lot of plants follow the day cycle and then they don't start producing fruit until a certain amount of daylight, daylight hours. But these day neutral varieties, they just produce at a certain amount of time from the plant, from the time they were planted. And the cool thing about them is you can keep replanting them. And so that's the beauty of doing this is this, pulling them out and replanting them, this actually excites them. And then they grow again. The, the one downside to the day neutrals I have found is that if you keep them in the same area, they'll kind of peter out. So you gotta, you gotta reignite them. You gotta keep pulling them out and replanting them. Often what I'll do is, so I said I'd, I'd do it twice a year. In the first part of the season, I might just dig them all out. So in April, when everything's kind of coming back, the winter's over, I'll dig them out and I'll replant them in another bed. At the same time, I've thinned them out and probably three or four X what was already there. And then I plant that in a new bed. Then in summer, around August time, slow down. They, they don't, they're not producing as much fruit, but there is still strawberries in here. There's one, there's another one. Still producing, but it's slowed down. But they've set a lot of these runners. Every strawberry plant will produce a runner. And so look at, there's two that are connected and the runner shoots out and then it reroots and starts another plant. And you can cut that runner in between, now they're totally independent plants. So they constantly propagate themselves. It's like the abundance of nature. It just keeps producing. A seed produces millions. A plant will reproduce itself millions of times over in your lifetime. I can just keep getting more strawberry and probably get a crop this year. Um, I just thought I'd shoot this video because I'm doing it right now and I thought, hey, it's a good time to remind people about this. So if you guys like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and check out my site from the field.tv. That's where I post the vast majority of my content. All right, see you in the next one.